Because he's so attractive, I can't get over it. I have such like a huge sim crush on him. I love her a lot, she deserves better, honestly. everyone and welcome to another episode of The Sims for the Royal Family. Before we begin today's episode, can we just talk about The Sims for Island Living because I'm so excited. I was actually like I totally forgot about the announcement and I was out shopping with my mom and she was in the store that I really didn't care about much so I went to go sit down and I was like oh my gosh I forgot that the announcement is happening. So it was supposed to be like 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time or 12 p.m. no I'm sorry 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and I had checked at like 2 57 so I think it was like meant to be because I was like just in time to watch the live announcement everyone knew it was like island living pack there's been so many leaks but oh my gosh I was like this is meant to be I'm so excited so I definitely think I'm going to do a royal family on the islands of whatever they're calling it but I'm so excited because I'm definitely going to do the royal family in their new world and then I have some ideas about like anyone who's a royal is like also like a mermaid like I just think it's so so cool but it, it will probably be like a Polynesian theme which means that I don't know if a lot of the titles will be the same but then again like we have our Oasis Springs royal family who comes from a different culture and we just make them all the same titles to keep it a little bit more simple because I can only handle so much in my brain I am just I'm so excited if you guys are excited as I am definitely leave a comment down below because oh my gosh and it's only coming out in like what what's it oh my gosh so as I'm filming this it is June 10th so it's coming out in like 11 days so as soon as it comes out, I am downloading it, I am pre-ordering it, I'm gonna record my video and upload it like, pro like hopefully that day because I'm so, 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 so excited. Okay, so with that, so in the last episode of the Royal Family, I did a Royal Family tree video. And if you watched, you know that I found out that Prince Michael, who is a teenager, and Lady Helena, who is also a teenager, they had a baby that I didn't know about. They are like, they've done like very minimal romantic interactions, and I just was not expecting them to have a child, especially since they're both teenagers. This has never happened to me before. It's probably a glitch, but we're gonna check that out in this episode for sure. Also in the episode before that, we had King Henry, he was talking to Lady Ava. So Lady Ava's interested in him, and I think he's interested in her too. So we're going to explore that in this episode as well. So if you're excited for this episode, give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and to turn on your notifications if you have not already. And let's go ahead and play the royal family. Okay, guys, so we are going to start with the royal family of Wind, although, I like came here because I thought everyone would be at school and stuff and and they are but I thought King Henry would be here what time does he get off work I think he might leave early because like he's the king like he's doing fine he's doing a great job so I'm gonna have him leave work early because I know I don't want Michael Prince Michael and Lady Helena to miss school because they're teenagers so they're at school so I don't want to pay attention to them right now so I'm gonna have King Henry come home early and then I think he's going to go ahead and ask out Oh, go with me one second. He's going to ask out Lady Ava. So guys, so there is like a very minimal romantic relationship going on with them because really like I, I wanted to see your guys' reaction first before I took it any further with them. So I didn't actually get much, did I get much reaction about, where did she go? I just saw her picture. That Lady Arya, I think I've got a few people, but no one said if you thought that Prince Michael should pursue anything with her or if he should stick with Princess Meghan. So let me know for sure, because I didn't see any comments about that. So Lady Ava will be right over. So when she gets here, we're gonna do a few romantic interactions and then we're going to ask her out. It is a very hot day. So whatever we do, I think it should be inside because it is very very hot outside and I can see like the heat waves and everything too so oh gosh guys this should definitely be interesting um but yeah it's it's like we got like a few days of summer left uh and then we have oh no okay so apparently Princess Amira's birthday falls in winter and I hate having birthday parties in the winter time because I don't want to kill anyone because we have had so many sims die when because of like the cold and stuff and it's mostly at parties so I don't know, maybe I'll just age her up before it turns into winter because I don't really want to risk that because that's not going to be fun. Where is Lady Ava? Oh, okay, I see her right now. She's over here. Okay, so here's Lady Ava. She's in her nice little hot weather outfit. And then let's go ahead and ask her on a date. So I don't really know where we're going to go, but we will find somewhere. Um, another thing about aging up the Sims. So I had, I, I like aged up Princess Amira and Prince Johan. I think I said in the past that they were like the same age. And someone did point out that Princess Amira is older. And she is. She's older by a little bit. But I just usually age them up at the same time because I just 
like feel like I might as well anyway. Um, oh, I don't know what's happening, but my screen is like going sideways. So yeah, so I usually age them up around the same time, then Princess May like like the day after that usually. So I know it's a little bit different, but yeah, just so you guys know. So okay, so they're traveling together. So I added this little country club, which I have not been to yet. So I replaced the church because I could not figure out the church mod at all. So I just replaced it because I was like, I'm not using this. So we're gonna check out the country club again. It's at a park. So I did want to stay inside as much as possible, but I, there's a lot of indoor areas in the park, in the country club too. And I used to have another country club that I would play at a lot and I loved it a lot. And I think I might have just accidentally replaced it or something, but I'm interested to see what this one is like. Okay, oh gosh, guys, it's scorching hot. You can see all the heat and everything. They're both in their hot weather outfits. Okay, so this is the country club. It's super, super cute. I'll put the link to this in the description below from the gallery because I did it, download it like I download everything. Um, so technically it's a park. I think my last country club, was it a park too? This one definitely is not as big as the last one. Like I don't, oh no, oh no, no, they have a basement. They do have a basement with a lot to do down here. There's like a little kids area down here and a little chess table. Who's here? Marquis. Oh, Anna's here. <gasps> Princess Anna's here, you guys. Oh, they have to, oh, I don't want to like have him like ruin the day by going <laughs> saying hi to his sister. He can say hi to her another time. Um, And then it looks like someone else is here. Duke Addy's here. So uh, like a lot of people we know are here basically. I have no idea where Lady Ava, wait, where Lady Ava go? Wait, wait. Where'd she go? We need to socialize with our day 10 times. So I guess we'll swim here together. And they're probably gonna be a lot of paparazzi coming to bother them too. But I mean, it it should be fine. I think it's a little bit more public now that King Henry can like go have fun with, with someone. It's been a long time. And like, that's what a lot of people pointed out too. It's been a long time since Queen Alice passed away. So I think it's normal. I mean, we've already got paparazzi taking pictures of us. So like, it's a little bit annoying, but it's, It'll be fine. It looks like Queen Cora is here too. So his other sister's here too. So he's got both of his sisters here. Does so not feel like a little bit intimidating for Lady Ava, but I think it'll be fine. Lady, Co or not Lady Cora, Queen Cora is super, super sweet. Princess Anna, she's sweet too, I guess. Not, definitely not as much as Queen Cora. She was definitely a troublemaker when she was younger. So she, I don't know if she would feel as good about this, especially since like Queen Alice, she was a princess, like she came from royalty. Lady Ava's not as, uh, she doesn't have as much royal blood as Alice did for sure, so she's got a lot to live up to, but I think she'll be fine. She's really sweet, people like her a lot. She's got a great reputation, so I really think it'll be okay. Someone is screaming. I think it must be all of these fans that are screaming at them in the pool. I We should probably, we should probably go do something else, although, it thinks that we need, I know you guys can't see this because my face cam is there, but like one of the goals is to like request a table and to socialize about meal. So I think this was originally a restaurant and then I think I changed it to a park. I guess I could keep it as a restaurant. I probably should. If I like do that from build mode, will it work? Ooh, ooh, you can. I I think I am going to, a hideout. That's, I don't think you guys can see this. Oh, a hideout is like a criminal. Oh, that must be like one of the mods that I have. Okay, so I'm changing this to a restaurant and then I'm going, the, the attire I guess can be a party attire. It doesn't have to be super, super fancy. It's just a country club. So like people will dress up nice, but but not like a lot. I think, yeah, this is fine. I, I'm just gonna change it to a restaurant. I was kind of thinking of changing it to like a lounge or something. Maybe I'll do that later. We'll just see how this goes for now. But at least this way they can like have a meal together and stuff because country clubs do have restaurants. So that totally makes sense. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll keep it as this. Okay, so it doesn't look like we can request a table though at the hostess station. I think someone actually has to be there for us to do that. So they can't really grab a meal or anything yet, but there is some other stuff that they can do. So they can go play chess downstairs, I guess. Why don't we go play chess? See if, see if we're, see if she's entertained by that at all, because I feel like chess is like something King Henry has been doing like his whole life. He plays chess a lot for sure. And especially growing up in like the royal family, like they were taught to play chess a lot as a kid. So we'll see if Lady Ava wants to do that with him. Things are going pretty well. They've socialized together a lot. They could do some like yoga together. There's like a yoga here. Oh, it looks like Princess Anna was just like in the little sauna. So we have a few saunas. They could get a massage too. So there is a lot to do here, which is really, really cool. Oh my gosh, guys, Lady Ava is beautiful. I love her a lot. I think we're gonna start flirting with her because we've been doing a lot of friendly interactions, but we haven't been doing a lot of romantic interactions. So he's gonna, oh, but our, rom our romance has gone up like a lot. And I don't even remember doing that much romantic interactions. So I think things are just like happening a lot between them guys. I mean, they're super, super close. So 
I think this is going really well. And like, like it would have been maybe nice to like have King Henry kind of date a few different like people before he got maybe too serious, but I don't think he's that type of person. I think he's like the type to get into like a serious romantic, oh, serious romantic, a serious relationship. He's not so much for like dating around. We're going to have him. I don't know if he'd recite love poetry yet. Maybe compliment her appearance, tell her how beautiful she looks. Okay guys, I don't know why, but every time I ask them to do something, they just stand there and they are, they don't actually doing anything. They're not actually doing anything. And I have to keep resetting them. It's not working, but then they like unfreeze, but then like if I if I have them do an interaction They just they don't oh wait are they gonna do are they gonna do something? No, nope. see they just stand there and they look all serious and stuff So I don't think this is working. Okay, so I like ended the date and now they're interacting It looks like so they were just flirting a little bit oh, now they stopped again Okay, so I'm kind of wondering if it has something to do with the venue that we're at so I think we're going to travel somewhere else and then hopefully it won't glitch as much. Okay, so I took them to the Island Bluffs. I know we've been here before, but like it's such a nice little private area and there's not much going on. So I think it'll be kind of easier to like, but like hopefully it won't glitch or anything like that. But this definitely is just like a little bit easier to control our Sims at. So I think we're gonna, I don't know if I'm gonna, I don't know, they just like swam, so I don't know, do they need to swim again? They can sit here together. So he's gonna flirt with her. So their romantic relationship, it says, has gone up a lot, even though they really weren't doing any romantic interactions before. I think he's gonna give her a rose. I She might need to change into her hot weather outfit soon because it's very hot outside. But guys, I love her outfit. It's beautiful. She looks so cute. She looks so good. And she accepted the rose and she's super happy and she's blushing a lot. They honestly get along very, very well. Like they're flirting on their own right now. I'm not even telling them to do anything. Um, maybe now compliment her appearance, see if you can do that. Tell her she's beautiful and she's like super flattered. I think guys, I think King Henry's gonna ask her to be his girlfriend because I think he like wants to make it official and I think it's important for them to like make it official too since they have been seen together in public. So I don't know, is she walking away? No, 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 come back now. He's gonna ask her to be his girlfriend, you got- Whoa, where- Oh, I thought she was sitting in, like, the grass for a second. I was like, where'd she go? She just, like, plopped on the floor. But there is this bench here that I had no idea was here. Oh, gosh, you guys, they're so cute! They're adorable. Oh, they're taking a selfie together! That's so cute! Oh, my gosh. <gasps> guys, I like them! Should they- I think they should have their first kiss, too. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I am like really, really in love with them, you guys. Like I was not expecting to love them this much, but I really do. They're so, so cute together. And I really, like someone pointed out too, cause I thought Lady Ava was like, like a pretty, pretty young. Like she's a lot younger than him. It looks like she's walking away now. Um, so I think, I think they might be done hanging out, but, um, so they had their kiss, their girlfriend and boyfriend now, so that's good. So I can definitely go ahead and go to the Royal Family of Oasis Springs. I should probably have King Henry go home first though. Um, maybe just go see like the kids and all of that. But I think that, uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, that Lady Ava is a little bit younger, but people were saying like, it really doesn't matter. If they're in love, like age should make no difference. She's not that much younger than him anyway, so I think it's fine. Okay, so I brought them back to the Windenburg Palace. I don't really know why I did this, um, because I guess I just wanted to like see everyone. So like discuss interest with uh, with their, with the kids. He's super close to his kids, you guys. He has not told them about Lady Ava yet, but maybe he'll like invite her over for dinner one day and maybe like her family too. We should invite her family over to get to know them a little bit. I think we'll probably do that in one of the, the later episodes. So I think we're gonna go ahead and go to Save and Manage Worlds. Um, so we're going to go ahead to, we're gonna start paying attention to Prince Michael and Lady Helena because I think we are going to have the King and Queen of Oasis Springs move in Lady Helena with them and their son to avoid too much of a scandal. Because first of all, that's like a huge, huge thing for Lady Helena because like, like this is going to impact her social life a lot. So their baby, his name is Lord Anderson. And I've gotta be honest, I don't love that name a lot. So I think I'm going to change it. And I'm gonna look at the, the names that you guys have suggested too. I just named him that because like, I thought it was Countess Olivia and Earl Peter's child. I just assumed it was theirs that they had had a baby. So I think that I'm going to change it now that I know it's Prince Michael's son. The deal is they are going 
to mm, should I have Prince Michael ask her to move it? I I think we're just gonna move her in. Like the family, they know them. The king and queen, they know this family. Like they're they're not happy about this. Let's just say that they're definitely not happy. I mean, I didn't even know about it, honestly. Like, it was such a surprise to me. Um, so I think with them, how many people can you have in your house? Is it eight? Is that the max? I think that's the max. So we're, like, cutting it a little close here. But, yeah, so we're going to have Lord Anderson move in and then Lady Helena move in, too. Oh, gosh, guys, this is... Whew, this is a big thing. I think the family's probably kind of sad. Definitely Lady, or is it Lady Olivia? No, it's Countess Olivia and Earl Peter. Definitely not happy about this. Her sister's not happy about this either, either Lady Katarina. Oh gosh, guys, this, I was not expecting this to happen. I didn't even know they had children. So now they have a son. This, this, of course, it had to be like the family that has the most kids because they have so many kids and now there's so many people in this house too. Okay, so we're at the Oasis Ridge Royal Palace. I remember that Prince Michael in our like family tree video was wearing this ridiculous outfit and I was not okay with it. So I need to change it back to his normal clothes. Oh no, who died? Lost in the family, who did you lose? Is this because like, she is this because she had to move away from her family because i don't see anyone who has died that she knows oh you guys lady helen is really sad about this she's really really upset that she had to move in with the royal family of oasis springs but look at this little tyke like lord anderson is super super cute i think they just want to choose a name that is like i don't know a anderson Maybe we will fix it. It sounds okay. I, I, I don't know. I don't really know. He's super cute. I mean, he doesn't look like he's from Oasis Springs at all, but neither does his father, so it makes sense. But guys, this is his son. Like, that's insane. Th this is This is crazy. And how did this happen? Because they did not... I mean, like, okay, if... So the right now, they're just lovers. If we tell them... To mess her, okay, I, I thought it was gonna say like woohoo for the first time or something like that, but but it doesn't. It doesn't say that. It only says like first kiss or something like that. Have they had their first kiss? Because that's important too. I need to know that. She, okay, they have already had their first kiss. Okay, so I don't know. Oh my gosh, guys, look at Naya with her new nephew. Oh my gosh, she must love being an aunt. Honestly, Princess Naya is beautiful. She's like, I feel like such a good person. She's gonna make an amazing queen. I'm so, so excited for her to be queen. Honestly, she hasn't hung out with her boyfriend in a while, so maybe we should invite him to hang out because she has not. You know what? I don't even have to do that. I can literally just, like, teleport him here. Okay, I just teleported him here. That, that was so, so easy. She would invite him to stay the night. That sounds a little scandalous, but I think it's more like a, like, a they, like he would stay in a different room kind of thing. Like, I don't think it's anything like that. I mean, honestly, Princess Naya is growing up, you guys. She is growing up. She's going to be, I mean, like, she's not going to be a young adult, like, super, super soon, because she's a lot younger than the other ones are, like Princess Amir and all of them. But she is just so sweet. She's so, so sweet. I love her a lot. Okay. And then honestly, mm, Earl Philip is like my favorite, you guys. He's so attractive. I can't get over it. I have such like a huge sim crush on him, honestly, because if you saw one of my past episodes, I said that he looks like Paul Walker, which was like my celebrity crush. And I was so sad when he died. But, oh my gosh, she just reminds me of Paul Walker so, so much. I need to, like, cheat to make everyone happy because everyone's needs are kind of down. So I'm gonna do that. So, oh gosh, that did not help Lady Helen at all. She's so... Lady Helen is not, not too happy about moving in here. She's so sad. I know it's just loss in the family, but, like, I feel like it was, like, just losing her family. Because it doesn't say that anyone has died. So, oh my gosh, guys, Princess Megan is so beautiful, too. She's so beautiful. She's so beautiful. Oh, and then uh, and then Prince Kellen, he like kind of has a crush on like another girl on Lady Arya too. So <gasps> I love her a lot. She deserves better, honestly. So I think I actually did decide that I'm going to change his name because even if Prince Michael got married to someone and like like they weren't from Oasis Springs or something like that, like they they wouldn't they would probably let him like choose whatever name he wants. But because this is a huge scandal and that Michael's just a teenager and I feel like 
the king and queen are being very overprotective and they're being very controlled by moving Lady Helena here because they're going to make them, they're going to force them to get married, you guys. Like, they are very, very upset about this. Although, uh, this is also where Queen Lindsay's from, though, too. So, and Queen Lindsay doesn't have a cultural name, like, like... Oasis Springs to me is very like either Middle Eastern or Indian. Just I, I just want to keep the kind of the culture of that in it. Um, I think more so Indian than anything else. So I, she doesn't have a cultural name, but I liked this name. And honestly, it was just a name that a customer had at my work. It's um, a J. So they, so I think Lord of J. I think is is really good, and I feel like that. I I feel like Prince Adrian might be, or King Adrian might be the one who's kind of controlling this a little bit. I think he wanted his grand. I mean, it's his first grandson. I think he wants his first grandson to have like an, an Indian name. So I think that we're gonna go with that. And it's like, I mean, Ander there's Anderson, there's a J. Honestly, like Lady Helena's parents can call him Anderson and they can call him a J. Like he can have two names if he wants. So it could be a J Anderson. Like he could have two names or like one could be his middle name. So I think that's what we're going to do. And then poor Lady Helena, you guys. I don't know if I should change her name at all because they're not married or anything yet, but they've basically taken this girl under their wing. They've moved her in. Like, th like I, I, think, I think they're gonna change her last name. I think we're gonna do it. I think we're going to do their Oasis Springs last name. I think we're gonna keep her title as a lady because she's not a princess. She wouldn't be a princess. They don't have any other like title as like a Duke or Duchess or anything like that. So she doesn't, they, they know that she is not supposed to be named like princess or anything like that. Cause she's not. Cause even if Lord Michael or if Prince Michael, oh my gosh, if Prince Michael were to like marry another woman, he wouldn't be the king or anything like that. So she wouldn't be like, I mean, I guess she would be, I guess she would be a, a princess. Oh, I don't know. Is Meghan Markle a princess? I guess she is. I, uh, she married a prince, but he's not supposed to be king or anything. I don't know, guys, I should know this. And I know I'm gonna get a ton of, a ton of comments correcting me or telling me what it is, which is fine. Just don't be too mean about it, guys. Um, Cause I've had some very like direct ones and I'm like, okay, all right, like, sorry. Like, it's just, it's a lot. It's a lot to think about and I should be doing more research on it. And I have had a lot of you guys explain it, but I've just got so much going on. So I just have not had time or like my brain is not remembering what it should be remembering. Like, I feel like I should know that if Meghan Markle's like considered princess. I'm pretty sure she is, but just for me, I know I don't follow everything correctly. It's easier for me to just do what I'm doing, not be completely correct. Where is, where is Earl Philip? You, should you be hanging out with him? What is he doing? And then it looks like Prince Francisco and Prince Michael are hanging out together. Oh, guys, all the siblings are really close to each other. There's like no, even like Princess Meghan's in here too. They're all hanging out, guys. They're all so close to each other and it's super, super cute. Oh my gosh, I love this fam. Oh, and Princess Naya, she's in here too. And she's in here with Earl Philip. Oh wait, oh, they don't know Earl Philip. Okay, you guys need to all meet Earl Philip. You should, you should all know him. Why, why do you not? That seems strange to me. Okay, so, ooh, a rude introduction. <gasps> that was like one of the only, only things there. Um, but a rude in or a friendly introduction and we wanna be friendly because they're all nice and they, they all really love each other. They're all really supportive of their sister. They know that this could be the new king of Oasis Spring. So yeah. Um, so what was I talking about? Oh, okay, so you guys were saying with the nobles, like when the noble, like if the Duke dies, he, okay, so, if a duke marries a woman, she becomes the duchess. If he, oh God, the power went out. Oh, we didn't pay our bills. Well, shoot, all right, pay your bills. So she becomes the duchess, but if the duke dies, technically his 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 heir like automatically takes his title. But if the duchess dies, then the heir doesn't take the title. Cause I've been waiting until both of them die to take it. But that's because I, I don't look up who had the title first. Cause I kind of forget that thing. I know I could just look at the family tree and find out. But I can do that, I guess. It's just, it would take a lot of time. So yeah, I know you guys have been correcting me about that, but just so you know, I am working on that. So we should probably be paying attention to Lord J because we ha definitely have not. <laughs> um, so Princess Naya, she was kind of hanging here with her, all like all her siblings and stuff. Um, maybe just like, at, like he's having a sleepover. Earl Phillips having a sleepover, which is so, so cute. Ask him about the day. And then we want their grandparents to start, start talking to them too. Oh guys, he is so, so cute. 
Maybe just like hug him lovingly. Oh, it looks like she was sleeping, my bad. Why is she sleeping on the couch? I forgot how much I love their bedroom. It's beautiful. All this custom content is amazing, you guys. I love it so, so much. Okay, so she's going to go talk to her grandchild. Oh wait, no, where's her grandchild? Go, go talk to him. What are you doing? Get along with your grandchild. Read him a book. Read him a book, that's so cute. That is cute. Wait, okay, do we have a bedroom for him? Didn't I delete like all of the toddler? Oh no, I didn't, I didn't. Okay, good, he has a bed. He does have a bed, we have toddler stuff. We didn't even, like I didn't remodel any of that when the kids became teenagers, so that's a good thing. So I should probably also have the teenagers like do their, I, I always lose their homework. Like, I don't know why, but I lose it all the time. Like not all of them have their homework which is strange. Lady Helena doesn't even have her own homework. Oh, well, I've lost a lot of their homework, so they kind of all have to share. Oh gosh, guys, this is cute. This is cute, oh my gosh, okay. Well, I feel like L Queen Lindsay is probably, I'm sorry, my mouse is kind of going everywhere. I feel like when Queen Lindsay is probably happy that Prince Michael had a, like not, she's not happy he had a baby. Like I think she's very against that. But the fact that she's from Willow Creek, which is where she's from, makes her happy. So I think if anything, she would want to, like want the baby's mama to be from like the same place she was from. Just cause she like, that's how she like, like she, she's from there. She like, I don't know, you know, you know, people like favorite kind of the places where they're from. So I think that's kind of the case. Oh my gosh, guys, all the siblings are all hanging out together. And this is really, 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 really cute. I, I don't know why this makes me so happy that they're all hanging out. This is a beautiful family. Like, it's just so cool because the sisters look alike, but then the brothers look alike. It's just, it's really cool. So we have moved in Lorda J and then Lady Helena is still sad, you guys. I don't know. I kind of debated maybe having the king and queen cover up their their grandson's birth by like saying that it was their baby or something. Um, but I feel like Lady Helena was very against that and she wanted to be with her child. So they were like, fine, then you have to move here and you have to marry Prince Michael as soon as you guys are of age. So it, it's definitely going to be a while because Prince Michael is one of the youngest. I think he, is he the youngest? Him and, and Lady and Princess Meghan are like the youngest, I'm pretty sure. Like they've got, they got a long, they got a long time before they age up, you guys. So it's going to be a while before he can marry Lady Helena. But right now I think they're just going to like have them be together and then like maybe like legally get married later. I would have him ask Lady Helena to be his official girlfriend, but she's so sad. You know what? He should try to cheer her up. He really should. I think he needs to do a heartfelt compliment and and all of that because like he just he his family has done this to her. I think he feels really bad about it. So I think that he's going to try to make her feel better. She's just, she's so, she's feeling so sad, you guys, and I feel bad, I and I know Prince Michael feels bad, too. And, of course, Queen, King Adrian is just, like, over here, like, watching them. You need to change out of your disguise, because you're looking a little bit creepy, so you need to remove your celebrity. He's sad, too! From what? From missing hanging out? Oh my gosh, calm down. You just, like, ruined this girl's life, kind of, so... You, you need to calm down. He actually, guys, so his mistresses, we haven't paid attention to in a while. So Duchess Jill, I'm pretty sure was pregnant and I honestly don't know if it's his baby or if it's her husband's baby because she's married to a duke. So I don't know whose baby it is. So he needs to like visit his children too, but we'll probably do that in a later episode. I think we're probably gonna end this episode soon. I'm just trying, oh, Prince Michael, he was able to cheer up you guys. So that's so good. I'm glad he was able to cheer her up because I was very worried there for a second. I was worried that she was just gonna be like miserable. Okay, my game just shut off. Um, okay. Well, guys, I think I'm gonna end this episode here. My game just shut off. <gasps> Did it not save any of that? Oh my gosh, I don't think it saved any of that. So I'm gonna have to do that again off camera, but okay. Well, anyway, well, yeah, I mean, I was gonna end this video anyway, so it's totally fine. Um, so we're gonna end this episode here. I was kind of forced to end this episode, but it's okay. So what I was saying though, is that like, like I think he is gonna ask Lady Helena to be his girlfriend. Um, they are, they're gonna, they're gonna have to marry each other. Like the parents are very adamant about them getting married. And I know that Lady Helena's parents are very adamant about it too. I mean, honestly, like their daughter just had a baby with a prince. So they're fine. I think they, I mean, they're not too happy that it was like out of wedlock and, and when she's a teenager. But I think if, if, if they had to choose, I mean, I'm sure they would choose like someone for her who was the heir to the throne, but 
he's not. But so like their second choice, obviously it's a prince. It's not the worst thing in the world. So I think they're okay. So in the next episode, I think we're gonna take a look at King Adrian again and maybe visit some of his mistresses and like the bastard children. And Queen Lindsay still doesn't know yet. So she's gotta find out soon. So we're gonna focus on that in the next episode. And then we'll probably age up Lady Sadira, who is Princess Anna's daughter. So probably age her up too. And then maybe we'll get to focus on some of the other families as well. It depends how much time we have in the next episode, but I'm just excited. There's so many storylines to explore. I, I, I keep forgetting about some of them and being like, oh yeah, we have to go revisit that. So there's just so much to happen in the future episodes, guys. And I'm so, so excited to keep doing this series for you guys. So excited. So anyway, so I'm gonna end this episode here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and to turn on your notifications. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.